Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Shiki. And today we're gonna check out Juni's album, Right Place, Wrong Person. Uh, we've been away for a while, and I apologize. We're gonna get things going again. Uh, it's gonna be an exciting summer for me, anyways, and I'm pretty sure for you guys as well. Not because of me, but because of everything that's been happening album wise. Jin coming back, you know, there's a lot to be excited about. Uh, but yeah, Right Place, Wrong Person, Juni's album, let's enjoy. We got some genius lyrics on the side. I'm gonna assume they are accurate. Uh, it was the first link when I searched for it. So, um, and um, we've heard two songs so far from his album, which is Lost and Come Back to Me. I haven't heard anything else. We're gonna go into this. We're just gonna enjoy the music, uh, see what's going on, you know, try to dissect the lyrics or understand what the song is kind of referring to. You know, I, don't, I feel like I will never be able to fully grasp uh, Junie's pen, but now is the time to go. Right people, wrong place, track one. synth action going on. Boom, and then the title comes in, Right Place, Wrong Person. That sounded like an introduction to something amazing. Generally speaking, I could definitely, like, I don't know, just gave me like, sheesh, like he's getting us prepared. Uh, one of the things I noticed, first of all, I think this is a bop, just straight up. It's different, but like, we got that thing going, but there's a lot going just straight off the bat. And I've noticed this with... Um, Lost and come back to me as well. The instrumentals. We'll keep a closer track uh, and closer eye on that. So we get this right people in the wrong place, right people in the wrong place, right, 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 wrong, right. Um, and it kind of like we get some ad libs in the back, uh, and then we get the outro. Feeling high on a forest fire. Feeling high on a forest fire. Feeling high on a forest fire. Forest fire. Fire goes up what like when you inhale inhale the smoke and it gets you kind of dizzy gets you going dangerously <laughs> I don't know but we shall see now we have <laughs> nuts <laughs> we have had so many discussions about nuts and I think it's just gonna be wacky like it's nuts as in insane you know uh, like they're just like wow you know what this is it's like it can also be like nuts in a sick way like you know what that was nuts you know I wonder if people just don't say like wow that was almonds oh that was cashew no but uh, enough of me let's get straight oh wait we, we, we got the connotation what is it called? annotation connotation what does it say throw forest fire 
pain to grind my needle and feeling buzzed or high during one can symbolize that even during disastrous moments in life, like being in the wrong place or with the wrong person. Ah, oh, that's actually that's actually genius. I like that. So basically, genius. See what I did there? So basically, I gotta calm down. So basically, depending on you know, sometimes you you can get that get that high excitement, that adrenaline rush. No matter if your situation is good or bad. Okay, I see, I see. It says that RM was trapped in the wrong situation when he made it like it. Interesting. Let's go to nuts. Let's go to nuts. Go straight to nuts. Give me like Halloween vibes. I could make this right place for you. I could make it just right for you. I could make this right place for you. I could make it right. She a oh oh. The way he's he's rapping here in the chorus is a little bit different. It's a little bit, his his pronunciation is different on purpose here. But okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> That is nuts. Oof, oof, ugh. I won. Mmm, mmm, mmm. She a pro rider. Hoo, 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 rider. When it comes to love, she could be an all nighter. Best gas lighter. No man could ever fight her. And then I go mad. Like, it's like that little slowing down portion, the switch of his flow right there. <sighs> Absolute work of beauty. Must be an A when right place for you. I could make it right. She a pro rider. Rider. Must be an A when gotta always throw a fucking slider when it comes to love. She could be an all nighter. Bask ass slider. No one man could ever fight her. I go, nay. All she moves and girl, I'm get hit. All she eats and he got you swing to get on the day. Freaky, you freaking me. Bagging you, baby, please. Comes and got some cash with it. Love is for the freaks here. Pro rider. Rider. Must be an A when gotta always on the fucking. Cop to when he come to money, he could be a damn fighter. Basque ass lighter, no a woman could stop him. Hako nuts, quite moody, drank what he you look like your guts. Could your gop take it, put in trust. Freaky, you freaking me, wishing you win a grief. Sarang and Mang and Bangdish, love is for the free. I could make this right place for you. I could make it just right for you. I could make this right place for you. Hey. I could make it just right for you. I could play this right chord for you. I could take you right to What's happening? What's happening? I could make this right place for in the back. I could make you pray. Now baby, you're nothing so high. Oh my god. Whoa. Wow, this is one song. <laughs> we got three different beats. We got three different beats in one song. Hey, RM. 
what's happening? Like, this is the second track. We're definitely going nuts. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. I was not ready. I was not ready for the bridge. Juni singing. I did not have on this card. But you can kind of feel something happening in the back at the end of the, the chorus. I was setting it up. But this is crazy. Verse 2 is That second verse is just so good. It's unsettling. Oof, that beat. Junie's cadence. Junie is... Oh my God. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Junie want to rap. You won't see anything like it. That is absolutely insane. Sheesh. It kind of makes sense though. The, the song is called Nuts. It's called Nuts. And there's three different beats, almost as if the situation is making you go crazy. But at the same time, it's insane. It's insane in a good way. So just going through the lyrics real quick. Wow. Wow, I did not expect that from Nuts. <laughs> Sheesh. Hey. All right, all right, all right. We got this, the intro, and then... Uh, basically talking about how you can make this the right right place for you, uh, right just for you. Uh, I can make it right. Um, I feel like this this is also uh, a reference um, to make it right in a way. You know, maybe, maybe. But what, what I found interesting here is we see two different perspectives. We see she's a pro writer, who, 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 writer. She's an A1 guider, always throwing a um, freaking slider. When it comes to love, she could be an all-nighter. Best gas ladder, no man could ever fight her. I go mad. How can we do everything together? How come now you have nothing to offer? Freak you, freak me, begging you, baby, please. Push your luck forever, love you, just for the freaks. And then, basically, his perspective on her, and then it's her perspective on him. He's a pro rider, an A1 guy. A1 is usually like like top class. I know A1 from like like meat, steak, and stuff. You know, you said like A1 is like top class. So basically, uh, when it comes to money, he could be a fighter, best gas lighter. When it comes to money, he could be a fighter. So if you don't know, fighters, they make a lot of money. Fighters, boxers, they make a lot of money. Uh, best gas lighter, no man could stop him basically none nothing's gonna stop his pursuit for money and nothing's gonna stop her um manipulation so this is very toxic straight up straight up very toxic and then you know i go nuts you're like a monster now you look like your guts mm. Mm. monster guts Freak you, freaking me, wishing you in the grief. Love will for fail inevitably. Love is for the freaks. I mean, technically speaking, guys, love always fails most of the time. Unless you're getting married and, and, and you're done. Most cases, the, the success rate for love must be very low. <laughs> but then we get this chorus, right? And then the bridge. You've been so high. I know you're afraid of heights. So close your eyes. Now lay back. You've been so high. 
Is he talking about like how you'll never find anything like this before? Like the highs from this relationship you won't find again, maybe? Because it's clearly a relationship thing. You know, it's clearly, a, I feel this is definitely relationship related, this one. And then, since you left, I finally feel alive. Oof, you know, he feels free like a bird out of a cage. Every night, I write letters to my past self, just a glass of whiskey, all the memories come pouring out. You know, there's something beautiful about the way Junie writes. I think English lyrics can't even fully capture that because it's it's also partly in Korean. But this this verse here was absolutely nuts. Oh my lord! But it's it's very poetic the way he writes. Um, to break free from my twenties when you were my everything. I I wish for your happiness. I mean it, even though you won't believe it. Mmm. It's a tough relationship. There's a stigma on my chest. It's called you. Like this relationship weighing heavily on Juni. Like this is, this is, oof, oof. Guys, relationships can, can be so, so damaging long term. And this one, it's a flu. It's hard to believe that we were ever together. It was a flu and we could see the karma coming right through. Think about it. Flu, it's, a, it's something you have temporarily for a week, maybe a couple of days. And then... You don't even feel like you were sick anymore. Like it's like it's like it's a very interesting, interesting reference, in my opinion at least. Because when you catch a flu and, and then you're done, you can't when you try to imagine you can't really feel it the same way afterwards, obviously, because you don't have the flu. But I like it. Like it was just like a passing moment thing. Like it just feels surreal, like it didn't even happen. Or that I was just, you know. Or flu, you get a fever, you get that, you get that high temperature. I don't know, but wow, amazing song, amazing, amazing. Now we got out of love. Oof, Junior with the heartstrings. Another thing I wanted to say, I found very interesting, is the different instrumentals. Once again, the beat. There's like a, like a, like a, like like a drum. Like a, I hear it. I will go through that more later. But now, out of love. I'ma burn down the love and the hate, the right, the wrongs Even the goddamn where I've been living it for my whole life Smoking kills, I know it's my fucking business You bitches, stop, don't talk shit Ashes fall like the snow, I've been changing all the flow Time to let go the past, the memories, the stacks of the truth Diaries without priories, think I already killed myself out of the fucking fizz Smoke, drink, people. I know they stink. I am on a sucker body, but I put them in the sink. Sorry, got you out of Cause it's my fucking script. She me on your mind and EJ, I dash it till the next three I don't belong here. She didn't you got body, but sad. I don't belong here, like the. Sheesh. On your mind and EJ, I dash it till the next three I don't belong here. She didn't you got body, but sad. I don't move the bottom. Jump, you know why they got me the chin, she didn't die to get. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's go back a little bit. Somebody goes. Always always hating on him. Always shitting on him. Always crapping on him. Huh? All you strangers you did think you can't please me. Punch him your that that will you do believe me? Not in Sukaji, I love him when you hate me. Don't kiss me, oh see me, don't leave me, just eat me. Uh, <laughs> honesty's always a crime. Just tell me if you need a dime, but I can't give you my time. Can't waste you my goddamn time. 
You know you was a crime. You care for one body, care for my mind. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Out of love. This is very interesting following nuts. Because I just want to go through my thoughts on this song real quick. First of all, amazing song. I love it. This is full of, full of, just, it just feels like he's burning down those emotions. This is his way of just expressing himself. And I love that. It starts off with that, like, like that, like very deep instrumental, if you want to call it that. It's, it's very, um, I don't know, just, just feels very like, I don't know how to explain it in English, but you know, it's it. You just know it's not gonna be. Uh, it's not trying to like put you to sleep, pretty much. <laughs> well, it's trying to put some people to sleep, and I bet you he's succeeding with this. So here's here's what it, what it's saying. I'm just a pack of cigarettes. I'm gonna burn down all the love and hate. So I think this beginning portion is talking about how, um, how he knows, for example, that smoking kills, and if he wants to smoke, it's his business. You know, he, he doesn't care. He doesn't need people to tell him what to do, what not to do. He's a grown man. And um, I feel like people always push their own ideals onto these guys, right? And it's a very it's, it's a very unfair thing because uh, they also have dreams. They, ha they have lives. And you can't get years back. So this is, this is their life. They have one life here on this earth at least. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, he says, ashes falling like snow. I've been changing the flow. Ashes from the cigarettes. I love that. I'm a pack of cigarettes. I'm going to burn it all down. The right and the wrong. The love and the hate. You know, when you, when you smoke, it doesn't matter for what reason you smoke. If it's good or bad, it's going gonna, it's gonna to burn it down. It's going to get burned down. It doesn't matter for what intention it is. I love, I just think it's super genius here. And then ashes falling like snow. Um, you can't stop it. I've been hitting the flow. Time to let go of the past. Um, smoke, drink, people. You know, this is him. Like he knows these things. He knows these things. He, you know, he's mixing them up, pouring them out of the sink. Okay. What's what interesting was I don't belong here. Poetry died and love was buried, Bur buried. Anyway, since you and I believe in different truths, then I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Love will probably fail. Misunderstanding can lead to a lot of different things. Uh, but I don't belong here. Maybe he feels like the world is just, um, maybe this goes back to right people, wrong place. Maybe he says he doesn't, he doesn't belong here. So it's the wrong, wrong place for him at least. But here it says right place, wrong person. So even if the pl place is right, he's the wrong person for it. I feel like it's, it's very tied together very nicely. But another thing that I, uh, interested, the, the second verse is literally dedicated to the haters. As well, you think all these strangers can please me? Like you think you guys have that sort of like hold on me, that sort of effect on me? Um, you know, I love it when, when you hate me. You know, kiss me, see me, don't leave me, just eat me. Like <laughs> the the mocking portion of that, you, you can just feel it. It's Juni at his best when he's just like like when he decides to rap. You're done. You're done. And another interesting thing here. So we're not gonna look at the thing because I, you know, I, I don't know what it's gonna be, but because I want to do my own. Just tell me if you need a dime, but I can't give you my time. Honest, wait. Honesty is always a crime. Just tell me if you need a dime. I can't, and I can't give you my time. Can't waste my goddamn time on you. You know you're a grime. So from what I get from that is like him speaking out or him being truthful, or him doing anything can be twisted and, and manipulated. And you know what? Fine. You want to make money off of it. You can see media. You can see people trying to make money off of it. But I can't give you my time. He's not going to entertain it. He's not going to follow along with you because that's just how it is. A situation that comes up to me is the monk. You know, he was honest with the monk, and the monk went and sold his story to some newspapers. Honestly, amazing song. So this one, Domodachi, next one, has a music video, if I'm not mistaken. How do we... Where is Domodachi? Oh, there it is. Let's go. So 
So let's just say do domodachi, it means like friends. Okay? Domo is thank you in Japanese. But tomodachi is also friends. So domodachi, it can always almost it's like a combination of thank you and friends, grateful friends, thankful friends. <laughs> Motherfuckers want a big role. Motherfuckers need a damn patrol. I've been slipping through a kind of bullshit. EJ jumps on my chosen. All suckers want to get it. Take a sip, cause Johnny Boo on my up shit. All the suckers want to hit it. I'm gonna lead you to the heaven. Group the pity. All my friends want to get around it. Oh, all my friends want to take it out the post. Yeah, I'm now town with a bullshit. Get the fuck down, motherfucker, with a doing shit. No more goofing around, I won't cool shit. I'm gonna stay calm when they come. Hey, yo, today. <laughs> Sheesh! Junie's really leaning into this like alternate style and he's combining it with rap and just different. I love it. When a big brawl, motherfuckers need a damn patrol. I've been slipping through a kind of bullshit. EJ jumps on my chosen. All suckers wanna get it. Take a sip, cause Johnny Boo on my shit. All the suckers wanna hit it. Yeah. I'ma lead you to the heaven group of pity. All my friends wanna get around it. Oh, it's all my friends wanna take it out the post. Yeah, I'm now town with a bullshit. Get the fuck down, motherfucker, what a do shit. No more goofing around, I won't cool shit. I'ma stay calm when they come on with the no shit. Cause your boots are more than put a bullshit. Tingle do the more. <laughs> the Adlers. I didn't expect that. I'm just right now. Oh, I didn't know Little Sims was was British. British. Go figure. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Motherfuckers wanna take control. All my friends crying in the road. You won't get it. Free so better come with me. Look, step in the place and they yell, go figure. Watch I'ma go all out for my hit all. I already told them I'm a gorilla. Sims and RM, man, it don't get bigger. Catch me in the back when my G's them. Greet them with respect when you see them. Run me up a check, I'ma need that. And give my Cody a stack, cause that's my dog, that's my homie. You and I know, aren't you phony? I set the tone, listen up closely. You know my name, but you do not know me. I've got, got my bros, he's back to the end. You can't put one hand on my friend. We just here for a good time every day. Nay, son, I'm Nam Chi Monte. <laughs> That's what saying. I'm not gonna lie, the chorus kind of grew on me. I wasn't feeling it at the start, I'll be honest. Um, but, okay, Lil Sims, I get Lil Sims out of the way. You were right when you said, uh, you do not know me, but you were wrong when you said, I do know you. I don't know you, but I do know you now. I know your name now. Uh, <sighs> I liked Lil Sims' second part of the verse. Um, 
per personally. First half, Ana just, just felt a little bit light to me. Too light. Too light for this. For what RM is bringing, personally. But, RM's verse, um, wow. I mean, guys, one of the things I really wanted, like Indigo, absolutely amazing. But, like, Juni has a different energy here. He's a different freedom in this album. And it's like you can't compare Indigo with this. They're both standalone, different albums. Amazing. But what I like here is Juni really feels like he's letting go of everything. Like he's just, you know, they gave him a blank canvas and he's just painting all over it. You know, he's letting his artistic just creativity flow like never before. I love that. Instrumental wise, one of the things I've noticed four songs in, and even if you count Lost and Come Back to Me, like the live instrumentals, it feels it's like it's like very it's like very different. It just feels I don't know, just a little bit more personal, intimate with the live instrumentals going on, whether it's the guitar, the flute, the um, trumpet, the um, the drums, like just instrumentally, acoustically, it feels very acoustic. I don't know. Uh, the sound is very interesting to me. Uh, I, I like it. Now, what does this mean? Um, mother. What's a what's a good way to? Mother fencers, fencers. Mother fencers want a bigger growl. Mother fencers need a Dan patrol. Basically, some. I, this is my interpretation. Okay, I'm not the best at this, but I can click this. And someone else has done it for me, but I don't want to do that, even though I did it for the first song. I think it's like friends getting out of hand. Like because of his status, it's more, it's less about actually being that genuine, having that genuine connection or friendship, uh, and more about the benefits that, that the friendship with Juni brings. Because they want a bigger growl, but they need a damn patrol bigger growl growl however you pronounce it you can take it as a tiger or like a lion and then you know they you need patrol to keep them in check to keep to protect other people maybe this is uh, another way of saying like his friends are getting not like his friends friends but like the people that are saying they're friends that they're just they need to be checked a little bit because he's saying you know i've been slipping through everything i've forgotten where i came from all the suckers want to get it. Take a sip, pour it in. All the suckers want to hit it. I'm going to leave you to heaven, blow the flute. So basically, yeah, he's the... He's like the genie. Mm. All my friends want to get around in O's. O's, I think, is cir it's circles. Circles, social circles. All my friends want to take another pose. They take they take a picture, um, obviously. I don't get the... Um, yeah, I'm knocked out. Or what a uh, bull crap. Bull crap. So basically, like, he's tired of it, maybe. When I do, no more goofing around. I want cool stuff. Maybe he's done. He wants some, you know, he's done with this. I'm going to stay calm when they come up with that new stuff. I'm going to stay calm. My angle is completely going on these, un like, friends that are taking advantage or benefiting from Juni. So if I'm wrong, everything I'm saying here is also wrong. But who knows? Um... Just lighting up the embers of this bonfire. My friends gather around me one by one. Like the embers of the bonfire. And they all come. Like he's he's like a... That's that's what I felt anyways. But I actually... Juni's verse was, was, was amazing. The chorus, it took me off guard. I'm not going to lie. I think this is one of those songs you, you listen a couple of times and it just grows on you. But that's the same thing for any any album. Like you can't just like give a final verdict based of one listen it never works like that you definitely gotta like let it seep in a little bit Lil Sims builds upon this friendship thing but he's taking a different situation here he says got my broskies back till the end you can't put one hand on my friend we're just here for a good time every day I can't cross my line I don't know if this is wait wait 
Catch me in the back with my G's then. Greet them with respect when you see them. Run me up a check. Run me up a check. Does that mean he's getting a check written? I'ma need that. And give my Cody a stack. Cause that's my dog. That's my homie. You know what I do before me. I'll set the tone a little something closer. Oh. Wait. I may be completely wrong on this and I'm I'm taking full responsibility, but because like the British slang sometimes it, it, it can be hard. Run me up a check, I'm gonna need that. Cody, my co what's a, what's a Cody? Cody! Cody what? Cody, Cody a stack. Cause that's my dog. That's my homie. You and I you and I know I don't do phony. Set the tone, listen up closely. You know my name, but you don't know you know what? We're gonna check it. Oh my god. Little Sims is Oh Ah, you know my name but you don't know me. Okay, so Lil Sims is speaking for Juni. Interesting. I mean this is unreviewed, so we don't know if that's true, but that's actually an interesting thingy. You know my name, but you don't Ah Got my broskies back to the end. You can put one hand on my friend for a good time. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Let's move on to the to the interlude. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I assume that little Sims. I didn't. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. <laughs> just move on. Where's the interlude? Where's the interlude? Oh, no lyrics for no lyrics for the interlude. I'm pretty sure there's lyrics for the interlude. Interlude. Okay, let's go. Best of Me makes me think of the song Best of Me, but Junie's letting his his I feel like Junie's letting his relationship uh, issues out, and I feel like this is I think he's having so much fun with it lyrically and message wise. I feel like there are some very heavy heavy topics here for Junie personally, but he's he's put them out there in such a fun way so far. The interlude once again, I love the acoustic sounds, the instrumentals. Very, very nice. It's very different. He's introducing me to a style I am not particularly active in, uh, so to speak. Um, obviously, with the verse here, you know, I feel like, you know, he's just like asking or like doubting himself. Would it, would it, would it have been better if I didn't know you? I just hope you remember me as the best grave in your cemetery. Cemetery, grave, you know, all the past people. It's cemeteries for the people of the dead. 
Now, in this case, it's if you're an ex, it's a dead relationship. So that's that's a connotation. That's that that's a connection there between symmetry. You know, he hopes that at least he's like the best of his, of this person's past relationships, and then says, "Do you know me? I don't mind at all." What goes around comes around. Goes around comes around. Simple but effective message. I don't know what's gonna happen after this, but we have groin. I'm looking forward to groin. After all the discussions, um, and honestly, at this point in the album, I have no idea what to expect out of these. None, none. Well, I know from Lost and Come Back to Me, but everything else, I have no idea. We might as well just hop straight into it. 